All right, I want to show you how to find all your stuff that you need to start working on your project or continue working on your project. So when you come into your Canvas module, you're gonna come down to Maternal Newborn Women's Health Group Project. And I have a couple of drop boxes there for you. So you have um, the first one, the group project PowerPoint drop box. Then you have the, the that's where you're gonna put your PowerPoint on April 5th and then group project paper. That's where you're gonna submit the paper. The PowerPoint is going to make sure you have everything in your PowerPoint that is in that rubric. So your rubric and your PowerPoint should mirror each other. Your paper is going to be a summary in SBAR summarizing your PowerPoint. No more than one to two pages. Make sure it's APA format. Okay, your, your group topic, you already did that. Um, that's where I'm gonna place your grade. There are some ideas. And then down here on the bottom, I have a sample PowerPoint and I have your rubric. So let's go to the sample. Now the sample was an excellent sample of a group project, but it was not at a 100% grade, which means there were some things that they didn't have. So, and I will go over that. So they did this on non-immune high drops fetalis. I took their names out for privacy purposes. And as you start to look through, if you look on the first slide here, what's missing? So if you say the citation, that is correct. So they were missing the citation on slide two. And just to real quick, slide one is your title slide. So they don't have it here um, because I took everything out, but your title slide should mirror your APA paper. So it should have the title, the names and the school. And then the third slide, again, no citation. So they lost points. And the next slide, no citation. Then they go into the path of physiology. So the next couple of slides, you should be describing your condition, what it is, what are risk factors, what are side effects, or not side effects, signs and symptoms, how is it managed, that sort of thing. So I should, I should walk away having a really good understanding of your topic. So as you see here, they're, they're talking about it. Now, while they started making sure they had this content cited, Again, they were cited there. So going in, um, I wanna show you, okay, so there's situation. I wanna um, bring this to your attention. You should have labs, vitals should be present and I should see at least two of them showing trending. So they have their labs here their case study, their case study does not need to be cited. And the reason is it's a fictitious or creative case that they made up. They made the patient up, they made their labs, they made everything about this patient. So this is fictitious. This does not need to be cited. Their assessment findings, again, do not need to be cited. If you look here, you see that they have their, their labs trending 6 a.m., they showed the, e, the um, ABGs and 8 a.m. They showed a repeat ABGs and then they had the lab. So I want to be looking at um, trending at least two sets. Some students will actually put the um, vitals and lab sheet, like they'll, they'll screenshot that and put that in their slides to show me their labs. However, whatever works for you. The recommendations should be cited. Your recommendations are, 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 should be evidence-based and they should be based on your articles that you used and or your textbook. So they lost points here for not citing their recommendations. NCLEX questions should be cited. The only way that your NCLEX question would not be cited is if you made your own. If your group decides to make your own question, that's absolutely fine. Just put in parentheses at the bottom, the names of the, of the, the last names of the group and your year and rate um, group's own question or something like that, just so that I know, and I'm not taking points off when you created your own question. And then again, that should be cited. 
and then there's their references, and then they did a video. Let me go back to the rubric. I'll make that big for you. So let's see, how are you getting points? So you are gonna submit this ahead of time. I'm gonna pre-grade this. The only area I can't grade is the time. So your PowerPoint must be 10 minutes, no more, no less. Students practice this. And to be honest with you, very, very rarely do the students lose any points because they're, they, you know, they're practicing with their groups. If anything, they get a minus one because they did nine minutes or a minus one because they did 11 minutes. But other than that, they're really good about it. Okay, so the first thing I'm looking for, remember I showed you in that sample is the case introduction. So you're giving me a thorough description of the disorder and the condition, and that is worth a total of 10 points. Then I'm looking for two NANDA nursing diagnoses, and that's gonna be five points per NANDA nursing diagnoses. You wanna cite that as well. Then background, I'm looking for medical and social history. So in a newborn, there's not gonna be a lot of medical and social history. You're gonna be having to, to base it on the mom a little bit. Make it up, it's creative. I just wanna see that it's there. And that's five points for medical, five points for social. Then you have 15 points for your assessment. I wanna see a good thorough assessment. If it's the baby you're doing, then it can, mom can say, um, I, I noticed the baby had fast respirations. I noticed the baby was grimacing. I noticed the baby was, I don't know, whatever, right? Um, crying. Um, objective is what you observe. And I wanna see labs, vitals, and diagnostics. So I want to see trending. Please make sure you have trending or you will lose points. So I wanna see all of that and that's worth 15 points. Then I'm looking for non-pharmacological interventions, intercollaborative, um, what are in, in your recommendations? It could be um, recommend for social work. It could be dim lights. Um, it could be music therapy, pet therapy. I'm just throwing those things out there. And that's gonna be five points. Then the next one is gonna be pharmacological and parenteral therapies must have medications. That's five points. I had a group do Zika virus one time and they didn't put any medications and they said, well, there is no way to treat that. And I said, that is, you know, other than supportive care, but I said, all moms are on folic acid or take a multivitamin, a, a prenatal vitamin that could be in there. Pretend the mom was um, uh, RH negative. So at 28 weeks, she got a, um, a Rogam shot. You know, so you, can, you can be creative. That's gonna be five points. Then the next one is going to be um, homeless, incarcerated, um, some type of a vulnerable population. You want to include that, and that's going to be five points there. And then your two NCLEX questions are going to be 10 points right there. And then again, the timing of your, um, your PowerPoint should be 10 minutes, and that's the 10 points there. And then your citations, I want to see everything cited. That's five points. Um, make sure your charts, your photos, everything is cited and no citations are going to be a zero. And then your reference page is going to um, be five points. And I want to see two nursing journals and one text. If that nursing journal is less than or is more than five years old, um, then I want to see that you communicated with Rick Paterik in the library and they were you were unable to find anything related to your topic. So that one that we just saw, the example, the sample one, they could not get anything. There was really no nursing journals, nursing articles about high drops. So they reached out to Rick Paterik and then Rick, what he'll do is he'll respond to the student after he helped them out. And he usually will send me the email as well, or the student sends me the email and says, we worked with Rick, we couldn't find anything. And then I will approve something greater than five, less than five years. So I will approve going back further than that. 
Um, but if I don't have communication prior to the presentation, then I then you would not get credit for that. And then the last piece, everybody does individually. So if there's five people in your group and only three of the five submit this paragraph at the end, the ones that did submit it are going to get those points. The ones that didn't are going to lose. So the whole group doesn't lose. So I'm looking for you to submit a paragraph reflecting um, discussing these following questions. And I'm looking for, did the, the, the group work well together? Was there conflict? If there's no conflict, say, no, there was no conflict. And we, and um, because the next question is, how do you resolve it? So if there was none, say, no, there was no conflict. So there was no need to resolve anything. And that would cover that. What role did you play in the project? Were you the leader? Were you the researcher? Were you the one putting the PowerPoint together? Were you the one um, making sure that the citations are there? Did you, were you the presenter? Were you the one doing the NCLEX questions? That sort of thing. Did you feel you contributed meaningfully and equally to the group and how did you do that? And that's gonna be worth 10 points. Now for the online students, what I want you to do and I will make a separate video on how to record via Zoom or of some format. So your group is going to be recording and submitting a recorded version. So I will be um, timing it online when I'm, when I'm reviewing it. So there's a lot of different ways and I will get that around for you. Some different ways, unless you have already thought of some, and you can certainly share them in the Q&A amongst one another. So for online students, you're going to be having a recorded PowerPoint of your presentation. All right, that is it. Thank you.